Hello and welcome to Punky Box Gaming. I'm back on a story about my ankle and in the last episode... Oh wait. Let's get rid of that. Oh, that's beeping for some reason. Um, yeah, in the last episode... Well... Made my way through quite a lot of the ice cave. I think I'm towards the end of it right now. But uh, I found enough hidden objects that I can unlock goat mode. And now everything I do sounds a hell of a like a goat. I found another one of Fred's campsite, noticeably newer than the others. The fire was still smoldering and I could faintly pick up the smell of the aftershave he always used. I was closing in on him. I could feel it. He had left some tools behind that I could use to repair my boots. Oh yes, the boot repair. That should do it. Good as new. I'm assuming I need to go this way. Yeah, I've come from that way, I think, so I need to be this way. <laughs> it's funny as the screaming is... Well, the goat noises are fine. But I feel like the um Yeah, I missed that up. Yeah, the, the loud screaming one isn't as good. Buried beneath the ice, you could still see signs of what this place had once been. Something not unlike the caves where the village lay. The ice age must have come suddenly, washing over it like a freezing tsunami. Now it lay desolated, haunting anyone who dared visit with falling stalactites, sharp icicles, and its bottomless depths. Oh, I've got to get over there. Oh, those fall. I assume I need to drop onto this. Oh, I nearly missed that. Yeah, I was supposed to do that, wasn't I? Okay, so run this way. I 
assume this is the right way. Um, over there, must be. Oh, might have been to there and then up here. Wait, is there a secret there? That looks kind of like there might be a secret there. Well, kind of. That really wasn't worth it. Nearly overshot that. Faster than I was expecting. Yeah. That'll do, that'll do. to that bit okay. Uh, let's try this again. Ooh, I always think I'm going to miss that. Oh where? Over there? Yeah, because games are on that way to me. Oh no. No, oh, I'm too far away. Oh, that's very far back. Oh, not 
quite enough. to that one okay and it's this bit that I might keep messing up come this way alone too I took some comfort in knowing that whatever problems I face now, Fred would have faced them too, and beaten them. If he could do it, I could do it too. Okay, long jump. to make that surely. Looks like I could go either way here. Would you ever want to go that way compared to this way? There's platforms this way. Seems like a very strange little platform, maybe, but it's not. Um, now where? Where, where am I supposed to go? Oh, well, I don't like this. I can't tell where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh no. Right, okay. So I do need to drop down there. Put it down. Yeah. Let's go. I don't know why I did that because I'm not going to land on anything. Yeah. This bit's hard. Solid ground. I think I passed this. So yeah, there we go. There's the save point. Let's run along this bit. It was dark all mm. around me, but there was a light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, it's probably just another flare, but carry on, let's go. Fred, I finally found him. My little boy, I'm glad to see you. And you're wearing the suit I made you. But how can you be here? I said that I found the suit in his workshop and that I came looking for him. Oh, I'm sorry for being away for so long. But I've been busy down here, you see. The frog people. That was an experiment of mine. Do you remember the eggs I found before? I sent them here by accident and I had to follow. By the time I got here, they were already growing. These caves were empty before, but my experiment has made them full of life. I've conducted research on them and documented everything about them. And I built a new crystal-powered pad to be able to get back to my colleagues, show them how fantastic this all is. I interrupted Fred and told him about Maddie, how we came all the way to Star Haven together, and that I had promised to ask him if he would go see her there. Madeline. My little Maddie. I, I should have taken her to see Starhaven long ago. She was always so curious about the strays. Well, I left her. I wanted to protect her. Or rather, protect myself from losing her. I have changed my mind. I'm not going home. What does research or praise matter when I can be here with these creatures? They need me. It's going with it's your just head. as well. <laughs> I don't trust this pad for more than one ride anyway. You need that ride. I didn't want to go home. And I asked if I could stay with him and Maddie instead. I'm sorry, nephew. As much as I enjoy having you here, you must go home. Explore the world on your own. Have your own adventures. I reluctantly agreed to go home. I was going to miss my uncle. I will miss you too. But I'm sure you'll do phenomenal on your own. And don't worry about me or Maddie. You'll be fine. The pad is yours, boy. 
when you're ready. It's a good job we got here in time, because otherwise they'd have got off and I'd been stuck in the cave. So, I'm not going... I know you're, like, you're probably some renowned scientist, even though you give me some really weird look right now. God, that's kind of freaky. Stop. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Anyway, I'm sure you think yourself an amazing scientist. And I know it must be quite tough to build something in a cave like this. But you've obviously brought equipment with you. So what's that? What is that? Why is it on fire? And why are you putting me up to jagged, diamondy things? Oh, there is a hole, I guess, but... You know, with how shoddy that looks, I'm not that confident on your aim. Nef like uncle. You know, you're gonna fight your nephew up there. So yet another person that seems more concerned with Maddie than the Ron family, but you know, there you go. God, you're giving me an even worse look now. Like you trying to kill me. Why is he calling me son? My uncle. Oh, and that was it. Uh, well, considering the huge build of getting all the way to find Fred. I mean, I didn't expect a huge amount of story after we found Fred, but literally one arguably 30 second scene and they very quickly ditched you. When it seems pretty easy to get there, considering both Fred and I did it by accident. I don't know. Might just be me. But, uh, yeah, it ended a little bit suddenly. I think one thing that this game could have done with was a little bit more in the way of ambient music. Because between like the storytelling bits and like the area noises, we'll say, like air and ships and dripping in the ice cave and stuff, there wasn't any noise and it it was so quiet sometimes. But it was enjoyable. And now, good night, sweetie. Wait, Dad, does that mean Fred is still there? Who knows? That was the last time I saw him. Don't you miss him? I do, sometimes. But I don't worry about him. Because I know that wherever he is, he's on his biggest adventure yet. Oh, I'm back in here. Uh, yeah, so it, it did just end a little bit abruptly. Dear Fred, today I step into the lobby of your house for the last time. My daughter asked me to tell her about an adventure, and I came to think of you. Oh, so everything's packed up now. Seems a little bit odd that Fred never once came back, considering he's obviously a grown man now. And he was a kid then, so, you know, he's going to be minimum of 15 years. And not once Your house come looks back. just like my mother and I left it years ago. After you'd gone, I was sure she was going to throw out all your stuff. But she just cleaned up. We made you a small memorial. Hmm. 
For a while, I came here every day, just like I used to. Sometimes, I could even faintly hear your voice calling from the observatory, asking me to get you this tool or that. Yeah, I just find it odd that he's never once come back to what is his lab. Even if it was a short stint. Just maybe just me. I never told my mother about that day. I don't think she would have believed me. Can I believe it? After all these years. Can I open these again? No. Probably wouldn't fit me now anyway. Oh, broken. Or at least buried in the snow. Uncle Fred, thanks to you, I have found an even greater adventure. Thank you. Love, your nephew. Okay, that, that improved the ending a little bit at least. Although it wasn't actual gameplay, but better than the brief ending that we got initially. So, that was a story about my uncle. So as I was saying, like, yeah, it's fun if very tricky and a little bit cumbersome at times. Um, I guess parkour style game. Um, with a few little puzzly bits in terms of trying to figure out how to reach places. Um, but yeah, I, th I think it suffered a little bit with like the lack of music. It just seemed really quiet at times. Um, didn't have to, didn't have to be like any kind of sort of epic soundtrack or anything. Like that just like a little bit of ambient music in the background would have worked quite well. Um, but yeah, enjoyable, short game. So you know, nothing doesn't say out out state is welcome. But if you enjoy sort of free roamy puzzle games then give it a try so if you enjoyed this episode and if you enjoyed the series please like and subscribe to the channel you can also follow me on twitch which is linked in the description below but for now thanks for watching see you next time bye bye <laughs>